Hello everyone, welcome to Beta Code. In this video, we will be talking about how to install Enterprise Edition of Eclipse. So let's continue. Also, please note that uh, before installing this Enterprise Edition, Java should be installed in your system for proper uh, working uh, through Java Dynamic Projects. So if you don't have Java installed, and you wanted some help then you can go through my other videos i will put the uh, link in somewhere in the i button or in the description also okay so let's continue so for uh, installing enterprise edition of eclipse first go to google and then type eclipse search it and then go to the first result eclipse here you can see the download button just click on this it will take you to the latest uh, versions available so right now the latest version available is id 2022-09 so click on this download once you click on this it will take you to the another download page again click on this and just click on a start downloads once the download is completed go to the downloaded folder here double click on the install So it will start the installer for installing different versions of Eclipse, whichever you required. So right now we are going to install Enterprise Edition. So from all the versions, we will select the Enterprise Edition only. Okay. So the installer is started now, and here you can see different options, different versions of Eclipse. So right now we are going to uh, install the second one. Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developers. So just click on this and select the installation location. So by default, if you have installed Java, it will by default uh, take that Java location. If it is not correct, you can update it also. The another thing is installation folder. So wherever you wanted to uh, install this, uh, you can select a folder also. So I will uh, keep it as default only. Now click on install. So, as soon as you click on install, it will start the installation and it will take some time. Okay, so now you can see the installation is completed and one launch button is available now. So, just, just a second. Yeah, so now you can click on this launch button. Uh, as soon as you click this, it will now open the ID, Eclipse ID for you. And you can select some workspace. And you can rename it also. I will just uh, rename it as Eclipse Workspace Enterprise Edition E. And click on Launch. Now, the ID is open correctly. You can cancel it and you can create your own project. If you wanted to uh, change the theme also, you can just go to Windows Preferences and search for theme. And here click on Appearance and select any other theme. Like Restart. Now you can see that the theme is also changed. Now to creating uh, any dynamic project, uh, first go to File, New, and Dynamic Web Project. Click on this. Give some project name like Meter Code, and click on Next. Finish. So one of your dynamic web project got created and here as per your requirement you can write the code okay so that's all for today thank you thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, please like share and subscribe thank you